Episode 5, Betaflight Setup After successful binding, you need to configure the flight modes in Betaflight Configurator before takeoff. Make sure the Betaflight Configurator is updated to the latest version. Connect the Type-C data cable to the FC tuning port on the aircraft, and then connect it to your computer. Open Betaflight Configurator, navigate to the receiver page, and check if there is a signal from the receiver. Ensure that the throttle, yaw, and roll channel map setting correspond correctly. If the channel mapping is incorrect, adjust it to match your controller settings. If there is no signal, check the port channels and ensure that the receiver protocol is set correctly. ELRS and TBS receivers are set to the CRSF protocol by default. Next, we will use the Commando 8 to demonstrate how to create a new model. You can follow these steps as a reference. After turning on the remote controller, push the left 5-axis menu button to the right to enter the model menu. Use the right 5-axis menu button to scroll down to an empty slot, then long press the right 5-axis menu button and select Create Model. Rename the model, Optional. By default, the newly created model has a generic name. To rename it, select the model using the right 5-axis menu button, push it to the right to go to the second page, Model Name, and enter a custom name as needed. Exiting will automatically save the changes. To delete a model, push the left 5-axis menu button to the right to access the model menu. Use the right 5-axis menu button to scroll up or down and select the model you want to delete. Long press the right 5-axis menu button, scroll down to delete model, select it, and confirm the deletion. Note, before deleting a model, make sure to switch to a different model first. Otherwise, the model cannot be deleted. After creating the model, you need to enable the TX module. Push the left 5-axis menu button to the right to enter the system menu. Use the right 5-axis menu button to scroll right to page 2, then scroll down to external RF. Click on the Mode option and select CRSF Protocol to activate the TX module. Set the baud rate to 1.87 minute and confirm the selection. To save and exit, push the left 5-axis menu button to the left. Push the left 5-axis menu button to the right to enter the model menu. Use the right 5-axis menu button to scroll right until you reach page 5, Mixes menu. The first four channels, CHH4, correspond to the joystick inputs. Next, we need to configure four aux channel switches, which will allow us to set up arming, angle, and other flight modes in the beta flight. To configure four aux channels, scroll down to CH5, aux 1. CH5-1 is typically assigned to the arming function of the aircraft. For detailed settings, refer to the ELRS official documentation. Short press the right 5-axis menu button to enter the menu. Scroll to the Source option and short press to confirm. When the selection starts flashing, toggle the switch you want to assign for arming. The system will automatically detect it. We will use the SWA2 position switch on the top left of the remote controller. Flip the SWA switch, the system will recognize it, and the flashing indicator will change to SA. Press the right 5-axis menu button to confirm. Push the left 5-axis menu button to the left to save and exit. Repeat the same process for the remaining three switches as needed. Quick introduction for ADC filter. If you are using the Commando 8 for FPV drones, do not enable the ADC filter in the settings. Betaflight already has an RC filter and enabling the ADC filter in the remote controller may cause conflicts, affecting the flight controller's PID algorithm. To check if the ADC filter is enabled on your remote controller, follow these steps. Return to the main menu of the remote controller. Long press the left 5-axis menu button to enter the system menu. Use the right 5-axis menu button to scroll to page 6 hardware menu. Scroll down to the ADC filter option and check if it is enabled. 
If it is enabled, disable it to prevent conflicts. Connect the Type-C data cable from the FC tuning port to your computer. Open Betaflight and navigate to the Modes page. Configure functions such as Arming, Angle, Buzzer, GPS Rescue, and other settings based on your personal preferences. First, set the Arm function for the aircraft. Arm, Disarm Channel Switch for Arm and Disarm the aircraft. Default factory setting is AUX1. Since the previous steps have already set the switch on the remote controller, we can directly press the SWA switch on the remote controller. The yellow indicator point below the status bar will start to blink. When the indicator is in the yellow section of the status bar, it means the function is triggered. When the indicator point is in the gray section, it means the function is turned off. The position of the status bar can be adjusted by dragging with the mouse, allowing you to position the indicator. Additionally, you can adjust the entry and exit points of the status bar to expand or shrink the positioning range of the indicator. Next, set the angle mode for the aircraft. This mode is used to switch between angle mode and acro modes. The default setting is AUX2. The mode will remain in angle throughout the flight. We will use the SWB3 position switch on the remote controller to toggle between angle mode and acro modes. Flip the SWB switch and the yellow indicator below the status bar will start blinking. When the indicator point is in the yellow section of the status bar, it means the angle function is triggered. When the indicator point is in the gray section, it means the acro mode is active. Next, we will set up the beeper function for the aircraft. This function helps locate the aircraft in case of an abnormal landing, making it easier to find its position. By default, this function is disabled. To enable it, scroll down in the Modes menu and find the mode labeled Beeper. Click Add Range and a yellow status bar will appear. Ensure that the drop-down menu on the left is set to Auto. Then, toggle the SWC3 position switch on the remote controller. The Betaflight will automatically detect the corresponding channel. When the yellow indicator below the status bar moves, it means the beeper function has been triggered. If the indicator is in the gray section, the beeper is off. Next, we will configure the GPS rescue function. By default, the factory settings already include the parameters, so no additional configuration is required. When the aircraft loses signal with the remote controller, passive GPS rescue is automatically triggered, allowing the aircraft to return. Additionally, you can assign a switch on your remote controller to manually activate GPS return, providing more control in emergency situations. In the Modes menu, scroll down and find GPS Rescue Mode. Click Add Range, then toggle the SWD momentary switch or any unused switch on the remote controller. The beta flight will automatically recognize the corresponding channel. The yellow indicator will flash. Adjust the yellow status bar to align with the indicator and the return to home function will be successfully set up. After setting up GPS rescue function, return to the failsafe menu under GPS rescue settings. Here, you will see that the minimum satellite count is set to 5 by default. Before takeoff, ensure the aircraft has acquired a sufficient number of satellites. The return to home function also requires adequate satellite coverage. You can disable this setting to allow takeoff without enough satellites. This option is for emergency takeoff in complex application scenarios. It is disabled by default at the factory and carries certain risks. Long-term activation is not recommended. Next, we will set up the flip over after crash, turtle mode, function. This mode is useful when the aircraft crashes and lands upside down, preventing normal takeoff. By activating turtle mode and moving the pitch or roll stick, the aircraft will flip back into an upright position, allowing it to resume flight. In the modes menu, scroll down and find Flip Over After Crash Mode. Click Add Range, then toggle any unused switch on the remote controller. The Betaflight will automatically detect the corresponding channel. Adjust the yellow status bar to match the indicator position, and the setup is complete. How do you use this function? If the aircraft crashes and lands upside down with aircraft disarmed, 
First toggle the turtle mode switch, then toggle the arm switch. The motors will not immediately spin at idle speed. Instead, push the pitch or roll stick to make the motors on one side spin, flipping the aircraft back to a normal position. Once the aircraft is upright, reset both the turtle mode switch before taking off again. It is noted that after configuring all mode functions, click Save in the bottom right corner of the beta flight to apply the settings. That's all for this video. In the next episode, we'll introduce quick release side panel and LED adjustment.